Greetings to everybody. Today I am just going to ponder upon something which I have thought of today morning itself and that is about knowledge. That's about what we learn and how we think. Is it really something which is uh, attributed to our own thoughts, our own ways of thinking or there is something else which is associated with it? of certain psychological theories as well as certain sociological theories as well so the very first instance that I'm going to cite up is of group mind theory and it's a set of theories which has been propounded by many people who say that the way we think is not just our own but it is about how the society thinks in general and that goes inside of us and affects our thinking, affects our value judgment. It affects how we really perceive the things around us. And from the psychological theories, I am just going to pick up one of the very famous theories that's by Sigmund Freud with an understanding of how the mind works and he explains the conflicts which are arising between the id and the superego and how our ego actually balances it up the theory is all about that so from understanding the theory you will learn that there is a concept of super ego which is quite associated with what the society thinks is right or wrong it's all about the value judgment that one holds and it is not with us by birth, but it, it develops as we grow. So as we learn, as we learn to differentiate between what is right and what is wrong, that is where the super ego starts building. Another important aspect that I came across is about meaning making. How do we understand from the terms that are very familiar to us and we are able to perceive it the way we do because our minds are trained to perceive it like that. That is the reason we associate certain abstract concepts with the way we do say heaven or hell or that is the same thing where you really understand any concrete substance say a wall or a table or a chair or anything else. Okay. That we are learning is what the society thinks is it just the way we perceive the things as a society wants us to do perhaps for most of us the answer is yes we do we come in conflict with ourselves if we really try to violate the things which have been established by the society that is why we agree to it and this really brings in the concept of social control why people really behave in a similar manner perceive the deviations if any because there is a set standard which the society has decided for us so do we really think on it before taking an action as to is it really making sense is it really something that i value myself or is it something that is just being dictated by the society challenging the grounds at which the society works up to what extent can we really challenge it because Everything finally will come to a conclusion where after a certain point you really cannot reason. And when does that point come? When the things are being attributed to something which is called as fact, which just cannot be reasoned. Pick up anything for example. Say the very fundamentals of science where we know that the planets are moving in their orbits and are attracted to each other by a force called gravity. So who made this gravity and why is it functional and for how long it's going to be there? There's no question about it. It's being treated up as a fact and then we believe it. <clears throat> The manner in which the planets are really rotating on their orbits in a particular direction, who questions that? That's just a fact. It's not limited just to the science subjects. It's even applicable to the social sciences, where we declare that society is something which is dynamic, but then what gives existence to the subjects that we are reading? 
For example, let's just pick up the Freud's theory and the concept of super ego, which dictates us as the ideal way of living. And that is being attributed to what has been happening in the society and is being perceived as right by the society. So now who is going to question that? And if you question it, perhaps the roots will be taken to something called as religion. And now can you question it? Or even with the basic fundamentals of why these things are happening the way they are happening. You know, let's try to explore the past and what is it that exists before the Big Bang Theory before the Big Bang really happened, how the Earth was and what is the cause of the Big Bang. We just have some assumptions. We don't really have the things and then when we cannot reason anything further, that's what we call it as a fact. And any discipline that you are picking up will definitely take you to certain facts beyond which you cannot question it. And that becomes the basis of why we really are studying a particular discipline. Because there are certain things which are unexplained, certain things which are really providing a scope to that particular discipline. And after going to this video, you might be thinking, what exactly did I have I done here? You know, maybe this is the way you have never thought, or maybe this is the way you have been thinking. But then you couldn't explain it to anybody. So, ideally, our reasoning has been constrained by the facts that have been dictated to us, or beyond which we cannot really reason, beyond which we cannot really explore. And that is a limitation to knowledge. They are our limits and they decide our scope. What is being dictated is a fact that gives us a limit and within that we have our scope, like the functioning of the mind being the scope of psychology or you talk about sociology, the study of society or anything else. Any other subject you pick up, you will always be taken up to certain grounds beyond which you cannot really think. So that's where the thinkers work, that's where you can build up theories, that's where you can create up your own facts. And if you successfully do that, perhaps you will be the next person in the history to be studied on. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something new, a different way of looking at things, then certainly give a like, give a thumbs up to the video and if any comments or suggestions, feel free to post them in the comments below and you want to really carry on a discussion further you can even write to me personally the email is there in the description of the video and for further such insightful videos you can subscribe to my channel learning for fun because learning is certainly for fun thank you and have a great time ahead